This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. Yesterday, as you're well aware, I assume, 19 children, 19 kids in their classrooms were slaughtered, were murdered by a gunman with an AR-15. Once again, in America, the only country The only country where this happens with any regularity whatsoever, once again, while a Republican Party is adamant, is dead set, is laser focused on on stripping away a woman's autonomy, bodily autonomy, a woman's right to make health care choices, reproductive health care choices on their own for the sake of the baby, the loose clumping of cells in an early pregnancy. They want to protect that because it's life. Yet once the baby's born, eh, if they get murdered in their classroom, eh, that's the price we pay for freedom. As they shower us, with thoughts and prayers. Meaningless. You know, actually, uh, yesterday, or, or this morning, actually, uh, Farron Cousins does some great work. He tweeted, Does anyone actually believe that the thoughts and prayers Republicans actually kneeled and prayed for mass shootings to end yesterday or any day? It's something I hadn't actually thought about. So thank you for that, Farron. It's, it, it is a, a question that needs to be asked because it really does talk about, it points to the fact that their thoughts and prayers, it's performative. Because they don't care about dead kids. Dozens and dozens and dozens of dead children in America. The most innocent among us. Because they'd rather have guns, unfettered access to guns. Last September, a new law, laxening restrictions on gun possession in Texas went into effect. Voted on in June, took place or took effect Uh, uh, September 1st, 2021. This new state law uh, removed any requirement for training or licensure to own a weapon of war. And make no mistake, the gun nuts out there who are going to come for me, an AR-15 is a weapon of war. It is effectively identical to the M16A2 service rifle that I used and was quite proficient with in the United States Marine Corps. It just, it it doesn't have a a three round burst. It's effectively the same goddamn thing. And it was used to gun down 19 kids. And he legally purchased it, the gunman. At 18, he can't drink a beer legally, but he can own a weapon of war. And in the wake of this, you have Ted Cruz, dumb Ted Cruz, and, and Ken Paxton, and the rest of these ghouls in Texas saying, well, we need to arm the teachers. More guns. Because that's going to help. Because they think a social studies teacher is going to dissolve a threat of a gunman with an AR-15 when the police couldn't even do it. Multiple cops on scene failed. Failed. Highly trained in the art of violence. 
police. Couldn't get it done. But little Miss Math teacher, she's a sure bet. F***ing gross. Uh, before this change, Texas had to pass a back- Texans had to pass a background check, take a safety course, and take a competency test to get a license. Not anymore. All you have to be is 18. Again, not old enough to, to gamble in a casino, not old enough to drink a beer, but old enough to possess a weapon of war. The good guy with the gun thing is just nonsense. This shooting took t- t- took place three days before the NRA is going to host a conference in Texas, at which Governor Greg Abbott is going to speak, Ted Cruz is on the slate to speak, Donald Trump is on the slate to speak. And interestingly enough, guns are prohibited. If, if more guns make us safer, then why, pray tell, are guns prohibited from the NRA ILA Leadership Forum. He he says right here, join NRA Executive Vice President Wayne LaPierre, NRA ILA Executive Director Jason, whatever the hell his name is, and our nation's top Second Amendment supporters for this leadership forum. Here, coming up in two days. However, firearms, firearm accessories, Knives and other items will not be permitted in the General Assembly Hall. For a full list of prohibited items, please click here. Read the list of prohibited items carefully before traveling to this event. You will not be allowed in the General General Assembly Hall with any of the items on this list. And by the way, there's no storage for firearms available on site. You can't even have it in a locker. That's how good guns are to keep everybody safe. That they're prohibited from the NRA event. Now listen, obviously, this is kind of off the cuff here. I've got a few things I want to talk about, but there's really no order. Uh, Obviously, Republicans are to blame. But they're never going to change. We have to look within ourselves and our party and our team to make things happen, to get things done. And there is blame to go around on our side. Because in the wake of this last night, Joe Biden got up. Where's his quote? He spoke for, you know, eight or so minutes. And one of the quotes that I want to read is, um, we as a nation have to ask When in God's name are we going to stand up to the gun lobby? When in God's name do we do what we all know in our our gut needs to be done? Joe Biden, President of the United States. Good words, consoling words, maybe motivating words, but what I didn't hear from Joe Biden is is a call directly to lawmakers to end the filibuster. End it. Voting rights are important enough to end the filibuster to Joe Biden. Uh, A cadre of important civil and human rights issues are not important enough to end the filibuster. And apparently, dead kids aren't important enough either. Because if unless we get rid of the filibuster, idiots like Kristen Sinema and Joe Manchin control the agenda. And speaking of Joe Manchin, I'm going to read from this headline from uh, HuffPo. Joe Manchin says he'd do anything, quote unquote, for gun control, except eliminate the filibuster. The West Virginia Democrat reiterated his opposition to doing away with the Senate rule after the elementary school shooting in Uvalde, Texas. Senator Joe Manchin said Tuesday He would do anything I can, quote unquote. I would do anything I can to help pass what he called common sense legislation to address gun violence in the wake of horrific shooting in Texas, where at least 19 kids and two teachers died when a gunman opened fire at an elementary school. 
Quote, this is Joe Manchin, it makes no sense at all why we can't do common sense things and try to prevent some of this from happening. It's all just unbelievable how we've gotten as a society that someone could be that deranged and this sick, Manchin lamented. But when asked if he would support eliminating the filibuster in order to overcome unified Republican objection to such legislation, Manchin, a staunch filibuster advocate, reiterated that he would not go that far. So apparently, you won't do anything to save the lives of dozens and dozens and dozens of kids, Joe Manchin. So shut the f*** up or do something. We don't want to hear how dedicated you are to the proposition of ch saving children's lives when you won't do the bare minimum. He went on to say, speaking glowingly of the filibuster, the filibuster is the only thing that prevents us from total insanity. The filibuster didn't prevent the insanity that took place in Uvalde, Texas yesterday, Joe Manchin. You ghoul. Joe Manchin believes that the input of the minority is so vital to our democracy that he will, he will protect it. He needs the Republicans' input so badly that he won't do away with the filibuster. 19 dead kids. 20 dead kids in Sandy Hook. More kids died at the, at, the, at the end of a barrel of a gun last year in America than police officers at the end of a barrel of a gun. People who sign up for that kind of danger, fewer of them died than children. We need to end the filibuster. That's what we do. Do you hear me, Joe Biden? That's the answer. When you have the bully pulpit of the President of the United States of America, and you wax philosophical about the madness and we, we have to end this for God's sake. But you don't map a plan of how to do it. That's not leadership. It's certainly not leadership on the part of Joe Manchin. It's certainly not leadership on the part of Kirsten Sinema. And it's certainly not leadership on the part of any Republican. Even Mitt Romney with his nonsense, just joining the, the, the long list of public figure, offering their, their, their thoughts and their prayers. While, as Farron said, very likely not actually getting on their knees and praying to their God for this to stop. And if, for, for that matter, if that worked, it would have stopped a long time ago. If these Christian nationalist Republicans would actually pray, if that worked, we wouldn't have 19 more dead kids. What do you think? I would love to know. You can call, leave me a brief voicemail, 714-576-4054. Of course, you can email me daily at dollamore.com. Follow me, listen, uh, follow me on social media. L last night I tweeted this. I said something, you know, that our founding fathers, they're looked at by Republicans as the, the great architects of this nation. They were so, they had so much foresight and genius that th their, their decisions about gun policy can't be questioned hundreds of years later. The same men who owned human beings as property. Who, who orchestrated the, the genocide of native peoples here on this land. Who didn't believe women worthy of democracy. You don't get a vote, you're a lady. But somehow these men with wildly questionable moral understanding 
They knew what was to come hundreds of years later relative to gun policy, and their ideas cannot be questioned. <sighs> Gross. Anyway... Uh, this video obviously will not be monetized. Not even going to put it up for monetization because YouTube is very uh, sensitive about these types of things. Maybe justifiably so. Uh, and that is where your support comes in. If it's not me, if it's somebody else that you, you admire, you appreciate what they do for you, support that person. Times like this more than ever. Uh, when there's, when there's uh, instances of domestic terrorism that are sensitive and, and can't be monetized. I mean... But, it's a weird job to have, but this is my job. Uh, if I am that person for you, and you appreciate what I do, you appreciate the things I say, maybe not how I say them, but what I say, please consider supporting my work. You can click the join button below this video. Become a channel member for as little as $1.99 a month, pennies a day. You can support what I do here. Uh, it really does extricate me from the from the bonds of, of YouTube monetization. It allows me some breathing room to be able to talk about sensitive things that YouTube otherwise would not allow me to monetize. Um, you can also go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast, which is not just for the podcast. It absolutely supports my video production side over here. Uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Listen, if you know someone who is impacted by this, wrap your arms around them. There is, there is n nothing more tragic and horrific than a parent burying their child. Unimaginable. Uh, anyway, I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. Be genuine. Take care of one another.